What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB back in the building back with another video Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Now guys, let's get into this really quickly I got a little bit of breaking news for you and I got to tell you guys it's it's not good news at all uh, Pro boxer Felix uh, Verdejo guys has turned himself in after a body of a missing woman has been found uh, yeah, you guys heard me correctly. A body of a missing woman has been found, and Felix Verdejo has turned himself in. Now, if you aren't familiar with him, he is a top-ranked boxer, guys. He fights at lightweight, uh, 27 years old. Uh, I think he's 27-2 and two out of Puerto Rico. And the last time we saw him in the ring was with Masayoshi Namutaki, who he, lost, who he actually lost to. And uh, so Namutaki, he's supposed to face off against... Uh, Lomachenko and Lomachenko's comeback fight since his injury but uh this this is terrible news guys and I got the article pulled up here uh, in ESPN.com so I'm going to read it to you guys to catch you guys up to speed on what's going on uh, with Mr. Verdejo so it says here uh, a 27 year old woman whose body was found in a lagoon in Puerto Rico was a companion of lightweight boxer Felix Verdejo, who turned himself in to federal agents on Sunday night, according to officials. The body of, I think her name is uh, Kish, Kishla Rodriguez, was found a couple of days after she was reported missing. She was identified Sunday via dental records. Uh, Puerto Rico's Institute of Forensic Science said in a statement, a criminal complaint filed by the FBI accuses Verdejo of punching Rodriguez in the face and injecting her with a syringe filled with an unidentified substance bought at a public housing complex. It alleges that he then bound her arms and feet with wire and tied a heavy block to her before throwing her off a bridge at 8.30 a.m. Thursday. The complaint states the complaint states that Verdejo then shot at Rodriguez's body as he stood on the bridge. The, the, compli the complaint says a witness says a witness didn't, did not identify help Verdejo kidnap and kill Rodriguez. Wow. Uh, FBI spokesman Lamari Cruz told the Associated Press that the federal agency was filing charges that would soon be announced. Meanwhile, the U.S. Attorney's Office said no decision has been made whether to pursue the death penalty. Verdejo and his attorneys previously declined comment and police said that the boxer did not originally cooperate and refused to answer questions. Top Rank, which has promoted Verdejo since he turned pro in 2012, released a statement on the situation Saturday. Top rank thoughts and prayers are with Keishla, Marlon, Rodriguez, Ortiz, family and friends. And with all those in mourning, the statement read, We are deeply disturbed by the news reports and we will continue to monitor developments in the case as it progresses. As of Sunday night, Verdejo's fighter page was no longer on top rank website. A representative for top rank reached Sunday night, referred to the statement the promotion released Saturday and had no further comments at this time, which was probably smart for the company to do that. You know, th this is this is extremely serious, guys. Uh, Rodriguez family has said she was pregnant with Verdejo's child. Uh, Keila Ortiz, the woman's mother, told reporters that her daughter had called her before she vanished Thursday and told Verdejo was going to her house to see the results of a pregnancy test. I told her be careful because he has already threatened her and told her not to have the baby mentioned in his career and family, she said. Verdejo is married but has known Rodriguez since middle school and had kept in touch with her, her parents said. The report, the report, they reported her missing after she didn't show up to work at an animal grooming business. Uh, Verdejo is a former Olympian who represented Puerto Rico in 2012. His professional career was temporary sidetracked after he was hospitalized following a motorcycle crash in 2016. Um, a lot of you guys probably remember about that. The case has outraged many in Puerto Rico 
where another woman was recently found burned to death after she filed a domestic violence complaint that a judge dismissed. A superior court judge has announced an investigation into that decision. Hundreds of people gathered Sunday at a bridge that cross, crosses the lagoon where Rodriguez's body was found to demand justice for her and other women killed with some throwing flowers into the water. And guys, this, this is an extremely tragic story. And for what it sounds like, uh, maybe Verdejo did not want his wife to find out about, you know, this woman being pregnant. Uh, you know, we don't know this for sure, but this is what it sounds like uh, this may be uh, with him trying to get get her out of the picture. So uh, we're just going to have to hold on, uh, wait and see the new developments in this. But this is this is really a black eye, guys. Uh, I want to send prayers out to that that woman's family. Uh, this is very tragic, and it's just terrible. It's just bad news, guys. Not only on the sport of boxing, but just uh, and humanity itself, guys. Uh, killing a woman and who's pregnant. Uh, it's it's an awful thing. But uh, this is the breaking news that's going on right now, guys. Uh, Felix Verdejo turns himself in. Uh, like I said, the only thing we can do is pray for her family and friends. Uh, this is tr this is tough and this is tragic. So uh, tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. Uh, God, I, I hate to be reporting this. Uh, you know, boxers, some boxers doing bad things, guys. It's just god awful. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this article in ESPN.com. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.